Got room for batteries on both sides. Inside, if I want to run four batteries, or I can just do two batteries, one on each side, or two on one side. So my camera is basically done, other than uh, other than I want to put better, better Velcro up in there. Um, it's got an off and on switch, so when it's down, it's off. When it's up, it turns on. You'll see a little light up in there, blue light. It'll start to flash in a second. Yep, and that means it's recording. And then I just turn it off by pull, pushing this little switch down, and we're back to being off. And uh, it works great. I don't have it centered right there, but that's okay. Um, it's got a little bit of a wiggle this way. I might put a spacer in here with some more Velcro. So it Velcro's up in the back and right here, and that would take all the sh wiggle out of it. I might, I probably don't, don't even need to worry about it. But so far, it's pretty freaking cool. So I'm stoked. 
So this is what the camera looks like. It'd be up in the helmet like this. Um, and again, off and on switch, up is on. Blue light, it'll start to flash here in a second, and that means it's already started recording right now. So now it's recording, and then uh, to stop recording, I literally just turn this off, it automatically saves, I don't have to worry about it. I've got a little piece of Velcro on here. Um, when I get some better Velcro, this is, the whole thing's gonna be covered in Velcro. Um, and then obviously on the inside of the helmet will be Velcro as well, so that it's nice and sturdy. As of right now, this wiggles quite a bit. Um, the chip <clears throat> is right in, let's see if I can find some better. Point Chip is right here. It's got a little protector on it so that it doesn't um, accidentally fall out. This is made for like drones and stuff. Um, I don't think I'll need to worry about it for what I'm doing, but I'm leaving it on there just in case. Um, underneath this tape, which I just have on here as some wire management, um, is another connector so that I can remove the board and the camera from the off and on switch as well as the battery. So the switch is just epoxied to the frame, um, but I can still remove the board and the camera and the uh, the batteries. Uh, eventually, this the, the, right now this is just double-sided taped, but I'm gonna put Velcro on there as well so I can pop them off and uh, throw them on a charger. Um, I haven't decided if I wanna put more batteries on this side. I don't think honestly that I need to. Um, my math's right, just these these two batteries alone will give me four, almost five hours of recording time. Um, and some of my days, you know, I might do like, I might do, you know, say eight hours or 10 hours of record of, of tree work, but not all of it's something worth re recording, you know what I mean? So not that big of a deal to me. Um, so far it's pretty freaking awesome. You know, I got a little bit, little more to do. Uh, this wire here going from the, the switch to the battery is a little bit tight. I could lengthen that if I wanted to. Honestly, I probably won't worry about it. Um, it's not like it's a huge issue. Um, if for some reason it breaks or it comes undone or whatever, then I, I have another one or I have more wire and I can fix it then, you know. As of right now, it kind of, it being tight kind of keeps it out of the way enough to where I don't really need to worry about it. Um, not much else to say. I guess maybe I could put more another screw hole in here uh, for the other uh, optional mounting point that the camera has on it, but I don't think I need to. Uh, it's in there sturdy and it's protected on three sides. So, and I made sure to make it to where when it's in the helmet, when you set the helmet down, it'll be able to rest on this because it does touch does touch the uh, whatever you're, you're setting it down on. So at least the camera is protected on the bottom. Don't have to worry about that very much. Um, again, I'll, I'm gonna eventually put Velcro in here so I can pop those off. This thing's freaking awesome. I wish more people knew about these little, these little cameras. I had no idea it was even a thing until recently. I figured, you know, most drones just use like GoPros or something. I didn't know how these, they have these little mini split systems and they seem to work remarkably well. Um, this one is the Hybrid 2. It does 4K at 30 frames per second. Um, and then 2.7K at 50 or 60 frames per, se per second, 1080p at 120 or 100 and something, or 100 frames per second. It's good. I mean, it's just basically like a GoPro. It's basically a Go GoPro camera, but a fraction of the size, fraction of the size, fraction of the weight. Um, if I had to guess what this weighs, I would say that, I mean, it weighs about the same as a screwdriver. The way I thought about it earlier, probably weighs, it weighs about the same as a new roll of black tape. That's what I would guess it would weigh. So, uh, pretty, pretty freaking awesome. Um, I might have to make, make another one and send it to one of the tree guys that I follow online. Um, the only thing is you got to put a little epoxy in the helmet to flatten, flatten it out enough to where you have a nice spot to, uh, uh apply the, the Velcro, but it's not that big of a deal. You know, just throw some epoxy in there and let it sit. And you're good to go. So we shall see. We shall see. So that's it. 
Elena, my daughter right here, she thinks it's pretty cool. I'm just kidding, she has no idea. My wife, she doesn't think it's that cool. So that's it. That is it. 